and welcome back to our Acadian Alive Kitchen alongside Victoria Landry with the LSU Ag Center. Welcome back. Thank you so much for having me, Lydia. Yeah. The spice of the month for this month is paprika. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if anybody knows, but paprika is derived from the grinding down of the fruits of the capsium annuum family, which can okay. range from chili peppers all the way to mm. bell peppers. Now there is a wide range of flavor profiles for paprika, if mm -hmm. you don't know. There's sweet, smoky and spicy flavors okay and then they come in a wide range of colors that can come from a brilliant red to a mm -hmm. ruby red to a yellow and even an orange no yellow and an orange sometimes which okay. is really interesting now paprika is used most times in hungarian spanish mm -hmm. and your central european countries in their cooking it's used either as a full ingredient or as a garnish to provide some form of color to mm -hmm. the dish now, examples of this can include a goulash, an aioli, or even deviled eggs. We mm -hmm. use that as a garnish. Yeah. Now, keep in mind the flavor profile that comes with paprika. So, for instance, sweet paprika will usually have a hint of smokiness to it, mm -hmm. whereas smoky paprika will sometimes have a hint of sweetness. Now, keep in mind what you cook with it. So, with sweet paprika, we usually use it to season meat, such as beef, pork, mm -hmm. and chicken. Whereas smoky paprika, we use a lot of times in rice dishes, bean dishes, and even lentil dishes. Mm -hmm. But it's a spice. You can use it for anything that yeah. you want to spice up any dish. And so um, today we have chicken paprikish. Okay. This, I love our spread that we have, by the way. Beautiful. Thank you. I really love doing <laughs> this. Um, so today we took chicken and we really transformed it. First off, we took our chicken breast and uh -huh. we dredged it through some flour and some seasoning mixtures that included paprika. Okay. From there, we put it into a hot pan with olive oil and let it really get brown, get a mm -hmm. nice coloring to that chicken. From there, we take the chicken out, we add our onions, paprika, and a little cayenne pepper to mm -hmm. add some spice. We let that cook till the onions are nice and soft, mm -hmm. and then we add our chicken back in. You add chicken stock and you let it just simmer covered for about 45 minutes or until the chicken is cooked. From there, you're gonna um, turn the heat down, mix a little bit of flour and sour cream together, mm -hmm. mix it really well, and then you're gonna add it to the hot pan, mix it well and simmer for about five minutes until it thickens. Okay. From there, you're gonna add the rest of your sour cream, mix well, and then voila, it's done. Yeah. And so today I served it over starch, which is our rice. And then of course we have a nice um, vegetable to go on the side to complete the meal. Yes, beautiful. I'm loving this. And I was, I've been dying to see what we had going on here because I couldn't quite tell what the, what the meat was. And then I knew it had to be like a thicker mm -hmm. sauce in it. So uh, we haven't seen a meal like this presented to us for a spice or a taste of herbs and spices. Uh, so month of October, we have paprika, wonderful way to use this. And I think we can find this recipe on your website. Yes, and you can Perfect. get paprika anywhere. Yes, lsuagcenter.com if you would like to try this recipe that Victoria has made for us today.